I would cup your face in my hands as though it were a fuse bomb. Our conversation is not of words, but of frantic glances, mouthfuls of molten vinyl dripping down my chin. Baby, drop a needle on this tongue and I'll croon a concerto fit to swoon Eros, make him fumble his arrows, with palms so sweaty he can't even shoot straight. We'll jump to and from conclusions like they were queen-size beds in a hotel room. Don't touch the carpet, or the could-bes will swarm up to meet your tender foot. You're cute, you know, like lowercase letters. I could shrink down to the size of a baby ant and slide into any if, press my back against the I and use the F as a foothold. Outpouring from the bridge's open mouth, a pause, decides when leaves fall. Now is not the time to be fascinated by vein-like symmetry, branch by branch, speckled yellow tracings. Now is not the time to be fascinated by speeding cars. Night of green in murmurations, neon tuning the sky, dream of postcard simultaneity, sight of lights above plains of ice. Snow holds the moon longer. The driver argues with the guide about elves over the mic. If you look out the dreams right, you'll sense the enormous loss of the island's prehistoric forest. Originating in the Grand Strand of Myrtle Beach in the 1940s, the Carolina Shag is a six-count, eight-step pattern dance between two people with a weird rhythm that looks like a jazzy swing dance. The local shag places still stand on wilted wood floors that feel soft on the soles of the feet, but will splinter a finger on its first touch. As my dad and I walked through the OD Pavilion, he tried to explain to me how the dance works as he pulled bits from his own memory of his parents doing the dance. 